Right, here we go. Open those eyes. <laughs> And obviously the Nintendo Switch isn't like revolutionary in terms of graphics and whatever, but this actually does just look so good, it's unreal. go um so yeah obviously tears of the kingdom comes out um in two or like it's like just under a day from now which is obviously amazing um let's get that chuck that on yeah and i just sort of wanted to to, to sit here really um i thought i'd do another playthrough of breath of the wild um, just whilst I've got some time, obviously before um, Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and yeah, but basically just um, yeah, j just sort of walk through all my ideas and everything that I've got for Tears of the Kingdom. Obviously, I'm looking so excited for this game; it's unreal. Um, if I remember, can you? Is there something in these? Am I right in saying that? I don't know if there is. Um, no, I guess not. Right, let's put that like that. There we go. But yeah, um, I'm absolutely buzzing for this game. Um, obviously, in terms of Breath of the Wild, I got my Switch in Christmas for 2020. And obviously I got Breath of the Wild like a day, like well, literally as soon as I could get it. Um, and then I played it like on and off a little bit um, throughout 2021. But it was in 2022 that I, I wow, just played it so much. It's unbelievable. Um, I think it's also nuts as well. How many people obviously haven't played this. Um so many people out there that obviously don't really want to switch or whatever the case is i'm not too sure but this this is mental um, right. right get out there mate it's time to to venture out there go. this bridge is just brilliant look at that classic 
Look at that. Brilliant. Yeah, what an experience. Huh. Um, but yeah, obviously 2022, I played this loads. I actually, at my work, I, um, I pretty much got everyone there to get um, Breath of the Wild. Because yeah, like I said, so many people, obviously, even like myself, right, I didn't even really, obviously I knew about the game, but I would have never have got it if I never really got a Switch, or, you know, I, I never knew how big, um, like, the game actually was. Yeah, it's so sick. But yeah, hopefully, obviously, Tears of the Kingdom holds up to what this absolute masterpiece is. Um... I don't think it'll be disappointing by any means. Let's get some of these. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Um, let's go down here. Perfect. Huh? Oh. can't just go about taking that, please. You give me a process. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> I wonder if um, Tears of the Kingdom would start out, obviously. Kind of like how this does. Um, obviously, you don't. <coughs> Bless me. Um, obviously, you don't know anything. You don't really know what's going on. Um, I actually wouldn't mind if it if it did. To be honest, let's go up here. Right, let's get that. I was thinking, if this guy says something about the axe, I'll just have some of that. I'll take this as he start. Oh yeah, I will. I will want myself um, to set you on fire. Please do be cautious. All right. Brilliant. Um, let's. There we go. Right, let's get some more apples. While we can, no, oh, you know I'm not even getting. Actually, there we go. <laughs> Why didn't I just do that the whole time? There's only one. Jesus. Um. Yeah, something that I keep seeing as well. Get the message. <laughs> um, follow the sheep. Uh, brilliant. Yeah, I've seen so many people, I'm just going to go into the church quick, by the way, that's just that's just what I'm doing. Yeah, I've seen so many people basically say that they think Tears of the Kingdom is a DLC and all this. But, um, I mean, I know that they're using, obviously, the same map, but, look, I can still, like, explore this map. And I think I've put, I think I've put, like, close to 
maybe like over 100 hours um, into the game, but I've done loads of exploring, and there's still even places that I'll go to that I didn't even know were there, um, and I think that's like the case with literally anyone, so obviously with what they're going to do, I know obviously they're adding like the Sky Islands and, and whatever, but the map's going to sort of be built around the Sky Islands obviously being there, but then also all of like the temples are going to be different, um, and I reckon even places like this, like even though it's like the same like land to a sense, um, and like maybe like layout, everything will still be different, right? Um, you know, so it won't really feel like you're on this map. That's sort of what I think is going to happen anyway. But um, yeah, I don't really see a problem them sort of reusing the map. What have we got? Touch. Brilliant. Um... Get down. I don't know if there's anything else around here. Yeah, there's no nice part at the moment, is there? No. No. Um. All right. Well, let's just go to where I need to go. Yeah, I recommend any of you out there that's obviously looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom um, and just sort of getting into it. Do like, like literally right now, um, do another playthrough of this because why not? You know, obviously you might not make it obviously far because the, the time until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. But um, that is just so good. <laughs> let's, there we go. Is there a chest in here? No. There's a something up here. No. Alright, no, cool. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I think you always find like so much um, as well going around the map that you've never seen before, even knew was there. It's that madness. Get out of the way. Uh, there we go, let's get some of these. Um, let's obviously get his weapon. Happy days. Let's get this. Brilliant, so we can chuck those on. There we go. On my first play forever, I needed the help of Oliver Brown. Because um, I had no idea what I was doing. It was absolutely awful. Um, I never, like, even <clears throat> got the, um, like, the clothes and that in, in the first room. Um, and then, like, obviously I went into the cold bit and I just froze and died. It, yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, I haven't got any arrows. Oh, there we go. Done. Happy days. Um, Sitted state, brilliant. Oh, and then I can actually do that, can't I? Yeah, touch. Oh, um, I'll come back and do that after. Isn't it the first temple is like the first where I'm going to now? Oh. Let's get that. Happy days. Cool. Brilliant. Put that on there. Yeah, this is so sick. 
There we go. So sick, so sick. Yeah, I wonder how many these will be in um Tears of the Kingdom. Wow. Brilliant. I remember as well my first playthrough literally thinking that this map here was like massive and then obviously well you explore everything else. The amount of detail that's gone into the world for this game as well is insane. And you know something that I also thought as well is that when you would take out the um the Sheikah slate from there, wouldn't all the towers just go down again? But who am I? Just like, oh, I thought the um, I thought the guys up here. I guess he comes back in a bit. Um, oh, uh, let's fall down. There we go. Ah, there he is. No. I'm just going to skip this by the way I'm, I'm, I'm guessing obviously you would have um, seen this before see if not there's a lot of better walk through people out there um, than me huh. community bannon It's really weird as well for a game that doesn't obviously have much dialogue in. Um, like this seems a lot better than some of the dialogue in, in AAA games basically. Um, and it's just little text box. So madness. Hand it over. Huh. Right, just let me get on with it. Alright, cool. Um, let's go. How many arrows have we got? No arrows, wow. All right. huh. What a snitch. Some of that. Oh, I should have let him shoot his arrows at me um, and do it that way. What a dumb dumb. Right. Some of that. 
Hey, there we go. Brilliant. Let's see what's in that. Cool. Right, let's see what else we can do. 